Hello, party people. Welcome back to another early Lego shopping vlog. I got some pretty exciting news that the new Marvel CMFs are showing up at Target, which is where I am right now. Something really annoying about these CMFs is that they're in boxes. Normally with CMFs, collectible minifigs, they're in these bags and you can kind of feel what's inside. With boxes, there's no way to do that. So I'm trying to find a full box of these. Ugh, it's so annoying. Because <laughs> with a full box, typically it's two columns and each column has like the full set of minifigures. And not only do I just, you know, want a full set of the minifigures, Figures. But also, how nice would it be if later in this video, I'm able to tell you exactly where each minifigure is located in a sealed box, so that if you only want one or two of the minifig, you don't need to just guess or buy them later on BrickLink. So I'm feeling really hopeful. I'm gonna head in now because it's way too hot in Texas. Like, why is it 105 degrees? That's illegal. Or at least it should be. Ross is out running errands right now, and I sent him to a different Target to see what he could find. I was out running errands, and Emily said, hey, I've heard that the Marvel CMFs are showing up in Target. She had me run to Target real quick. I'm not too hopeful, but I think we might be able to get them today if we're lucky. Stay tuned. Oh man, I love the sweet, sweet smell of a nice cold Target. All right, so far, no luck. I'm not seeing any CMFs actually. Um, it is super cool though. They do have the coveted Lego Spider-Man Final Battle, which I do want, but I'm gonna save up for a double VIP. Mission was not a success, unfortunately. What's like really weird about CMS and Target is that they're all like umbrellaed under one thing. So my friend sent us the picture of the box and it had the barcode on it and I could take the barcode to the little help like scanner thing and it showed that they had like 300 something sets here. <laughs> However, when I went and asked somebody about it, they also scanned the barcode and he's like, oh yeah, there's like 300, but if you're trying to get the new Marvel ones, good luck because it's all like labeled under the same thing. So he was like, oh yeah, you have a lot of Disney 100 figures around here and I was like darn. Emily's going to another Target. I hope she has better luck than me. Good luck. Mm. I guess it didn't go too well. I always get so distracted by this whole front area. Like look at this weird build your own dino thing. That's so fun. I obviously don't need anything up here but it's so addicting. They even have little cowboy hats for five dollars. Ross would love that. All right but now I'm gonna go check out the Lego. This should be pretty quick. All right, so I just made it to the Lego aisle. I'm gonna check around here and see if they have it, but just from a first glance, it doesn't look good, but it is kind of fun seeing some of the new sets. I really wanna get that one eventually. And then all the new Star Wars stuff is on the shelves as well. This is definitely one of the ones that we wanna get. Once it's on sale, the minifig selection is wild, but you know, I feel like it'll go on sale at some point. But then over here, I'm kind of jealous of some of these displays. They're so cool. So the Sonic one, look at that. Wait, can I make it do stuff? Okay, maybe not. It just kind of lights up, but it's still fun. Look at that. Pew, pew, pew. They have a few other things over here, like Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Avatar, Speed Champions, and Technic. But yeah, I don't see any minifigs here. Okay, y'all, you're going to be so proud of me. So I asked somebody, and she was saying that all the minifig anything is going to be up at checkout in those like weird spots right next to the registers. So that's where I'm heading now. So wish me luck. I'm kind of nervous, but let's see what happens. I'm feeling good vibes today, you know? Good vibes. There's no CMFs in this area. There are none in self checkout or in this area where all like the Pokemon cards are. Nope. Nope. I do see this here, Minifig Series 24. That's not what I'm looking for, but it gives me hope. And sometimes they do hang them up on these things here. Like you can see some little Lego things down there. At this point, it's not looking likely that I'll find a full box that hasn't been touched, but we will see what happens. They didn't have them at the front. I went back to the Lego aisle again to check because maybe they're there now. I don't know. I was hopeful, but <laughs> I'm not going to leave with nothing today. I have this to munch on, so that's something. I have a fun story about this chocolate, actually. Oh my gosh, my car's yelling at me. When I was at Legoland New York recently for Lego 2K Drive, Tiago was there, you know, Tiago. And one of his American bucket list items was trying a Mr. Beast bar. Up until that point, I had never had one either, and it's good, I don't know. It's chocolate, there's nothing special about it. It has words on it. Um, nom, nom. This video isn't sponsored or anything. I'm just hungry. Okay, that was really yummy, but now we're going to Costco. There's a Costco like a block that way. I swear to you guys, Austin, Texas is a hub for finding early Lego sets. Well, I guess those aren't really early, but they were early and have since released. So they were on the shelves early at this Costco, but I was at Brick Fair, Virginia. So I was not here <laughs> to go buy them. And it's just wild to me, right? They're early at Costco, but also they're like 20 or 30% off already. They just came out. There's like Dreams, Minecraft, Lego City, a bunch bunch of themes so let's go check it out this is so weird you guys why is this at&t like in a barn all right we just got the costco 
Ugh, I have a few things here to return. It always goes really smoothly here, but returning anything anywhere else, I'm always like, oh, this sucks. I don't know what it is. I feel like they're gonna like question me about it and the entire history of what I did with the product. Like, I have no idea. But at Costco, they're like, whatever, thanks. <laughs> we'll take it back. Costco is actually not that crowded today, which is really nice. Yay, Costco. I think I'll go do my returns first. That was actually very easy. All right, I'm in. Bought those clothes a while ago. I bought them in like a medium and a large just because I didn't know which would be better. It's all in a vlog on Emily K, which is my second channel. So definitely go subscribe to that if you haven't yet. I was actually gonna shop around a little bit, but then I saw that there's a literal Lego aisle at the Costco right now. This is nuts. I was here like two or three weeks ago and they only had one or two new sets. I just need to show you, hold on. There's an entire row of this stuff. I really wanna know what the prices are. It's usually really good. So it looks like the car garage or horse stable, which are these two. They're normally 60, I believe, marked down to 45. So that's what, 20% off? That's pretty cool. This one's kind of neat because you can kind of change things out, you know, and like mix and match, which is really fun, like customize your cars. And I have this one already, so I am good to go on these. I just don't need a car garage in my city or collection, you know what I mean? And then for $40, they have this Technic one. What is this actually, like 50? I'm gonna look it up. Okay, yeah, looked it up. It is 50, so that's 20% off as well. But then the one that Ross actually sent me here to get is this cat one. I don't even know the name. The Crafting Box 4.0. And it's a giant cat hotel of some sort. That cat's like in action about to attack that girl. I've been told that that is a female Minecrafter. That cat's like on a perch, which is cute. And then there's this zombie, I think, and then a cactus. I'm not, I don't really know exactly, but Ross really wants this. There's like alternate builds or something. It's a two-in-one. That's kind of fun. I don't think he cares about like the actual set itself, but more so like the pieces that are in it and maybe the kitties. I don't know, but it's normally 80 marked down to 60. So that's 25% off, which is really good for Lego, especially when it's brand new. So I'm going to grab at least one of these. Actually, just kidding. He wants two. And last time I was here, they had some dream sets, but it wasn't these. I guess those are sold out. They had the treehouse one and then a Lego city set. And it looks like those are gone. Oh wait, no, they're down there. Never mind. But these two are definitely new. I like this one. I think it's really cute, but it's not like on the top of my list. You know, I think it would make a really cute kind of build for Uptown Ladyburg in a Lego city, but I don't need it right now. However, 60 is a very fair price for this, but I still think I'm going to hold off. The most surprising though is this one, Endgame Final Battle. That's pretty incredible that they have this one here. I wouldn't have assumed they would. I love the Pegasus in here though, and the minifigs do look pretty sweet. I wonder what the back of the box looks like. That's pretty fun. It's a nice display. You can take things apart and like build it different ways. That's actually pretty cool. I still like Pegasus the most though. And I don't need this. I don't think Ross does either, but it's good to know that it's here. But then y'all, this Star Wars set, this is incredible. I believe the retail price for this is 100. So this is 20% off at $80. This is one of my favorite Star Wars sets recently, mostly because it's like a two build kind of thing. And there's different instruction books for each of the builds. So I built one and then my husband built one. Actually, I think I built this one and he built that one. The minifigs are pretty cool too. And then there's a new Ahsoka set coming soon that's kind of similar, like the two builds in one kind of thing. So this is exciting. This is a really good deal. This is probably what I'm most excited about because even though I love Ross, I just cannot get into this theme. But then moving down one, we have all the dream stuff. I saw this already like two or three weeks ago, right before Brick Fair. Actually, we came here to check it out. We bought this one. We already have this one in our collection. Otherwise we might actually consider it. I think it's really cute that the sharks get to go in a circle here. Like they're dancing, it's really adorable. There's also a beautiful jellyfish, love that. But the dreams treehouse just caught my eye. I just love these pieces here. And the blue leafy dudes. I don't think I've seen those in any sets before. So that's particularly exciting. And the street signs are just really funny. There's Snooze Ave, Dream Drive, Siesta Ave. And wasn't there one more? Oh. Lucid Lane. There's also like a piranha plant kind of thing on the bottom, which is fun. All right, while I was here, I got the two Minecraft and some pork, but now I need to head out. The price of beef is way too high right now, so we're starting to eat a lot more pork. I just got an email saying that an early set from Lego was just delivered, and I want to go see what it is. I'm really excited. Thank you. We did it. We did the Costco. We won. Lego numero uno, Lego numero dos. It is way too hot. I'm not okay with this. <laughs> wow. See you guys at home. Lady Bird, I'm home. I'm home. Yes, yes, yes. Are you a sweetie? We got mail today. I need some scissors. Oh, all right. All right, we have Ross here and Lady Bird for a family unboxing. Howdy. The first ever Saurus family unboxing. Dogs are so curious. 
It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. Wow. Ladybird, <laughs> it's your little brother. Oh, that's massive. Ladybird has a baby brother. Look at that. Yeah, wow. This is actually gigantic. I didn't think the box would be this big. <laughs> Anyways, this is exciting. We'll be opening this and reviewing it on Mr. Saurus very soon. Look at them. They're so cute. We're puppy sitting. Ross's sister's dog. This is Stevie, by the way. Ross was just asking how many pieces are in this thing, and it's 2319, which is actually the code number in Monsters Inc. when they had to shave that big orange guy. 2319! We have a 2319! <laughs> it's also the number of subscribers that I started with on this channel after Ross's um, stop motion endeavors back in 2008. 2319 is a very special number in the Saurus household. Anyways, y'all, make sure to subscribe to Mr. Saurus if you haven't yet the links are going to be up there well this is the song at the end of the vlog that emily made me sing to you i'm really embarrassed this is going on the internet so like and subscribe and watch the ads please thank you i didn't know that he had that song ready goodbye everybody